morning guys. For Bible today, I want you to watch the worship video that I attached to this assignment. And then you can come back and watch this video and we'll fill out Bible workbook page 104. So if you open up your Bible workbook to page 104, we've been talking about how Pharaoh changed his mind about letting the Israelites go. So, of course, God wanted his people to be free. So he had a plan to save them. He, through Moses and the great east wind, separated the Red Sea and opened it up so that the Israelites had an escape route. So we're going to get a little bit more into the story and find out some more things. We are going to match up these answers together. I only had room for the question lines, so I'll read the answers first, and then we'll pick out the answers together for each beginning part of the sentence. So, God shows his great power, page 104. Complete the following sentences by matching the items below. The answers we have are A, by leading them with a cloud and with fire, B, 430 years, C, by the Red Sea, D, to free God's people, E, with his rod, F, God used it to kill all of Pharaoh's army. So our sentences need to make sense, but it also needs to be the correct answer. So. The first one, the Israelites had lived in Egypt for, that one should easily make sense because it's the, there's only one answer that has a number of years and that's B, 430 years. So our answer in the first line is B. Okay. The second one, after the Passover, Pharaoh decided, after the Passover, that was the 10th plague, what did Pharaoh decide? Pharaoh decided yep D to free God's people he decided to let them go after the 10th plague he was so upset okay you've taken so many things away from me just leave the third one God showed his care for his people by a by leading them with a cloud and with fire he showed he cared for them by guiding them every step of the way, having the pillar of cloud during the day and the pillar of fire with them at night to guide them out. Okay, the next one. The Hebrews were trapped. This one's a kind, kind of tricky. By the Red Sea. Letter C. Oops, this is kind of messy. By the Red Sea. They were trapped because the Red Sea was blocking their path. And there was no way to go around it. They didn't have any boats. They couldn't do anything. You couldn't, it was too deep to walk through it. They were stuck. And Pharaoh's army was already chasing after them. So they couldn't turn around and go backwards and make a different turn. Next, God used Moses to make a path through the Red Sea. E, with his rod. Moses had to hold up his rod, and through that, and through the east wind, God's power went through it and separated the Red Sea. So our last one, we only have one answer left. When the Red Sea returned the way it was before, God used it to kill all of Pharaoh's army. F. The answer is F. So what happened was, Moses stood, opened up the... and. He, the God's power went through him to open up the Red Sea so all of the Israelites could travel through safely on dry land. After the Israelites made it through, in order to stop the, the Egyptian army, Pharaoh's army, from following them, God had the Red Sea be released and go right back down. And it ended up landing on top of Pharaoh's army and destroying all of them so they couldn't chase after the Israelites anymore. So our next section says, read Exodus 14.31 and answer the question below. This verse reminds us of the great way in which God always took care of his people. Okay, so our question is, what caused Israel to fear and believe the Lord and his servant Moses? 
Let's read in Exodus 14, 13. When the people of Israel saw the mighty power that the Lord had unleashed against the Egyptians, they were filled with awe before him. They put their faith in the Lord and in his servant Moses. So because they saw God's great power, because they saw this sea, this air, big body of water open up and have dry land in between and God had an escape route for them and then destroyed Pharaoh's army with that same sea and the Israelites were safe, they realized, wow, this is the one true God. He is so powerful and he loves us so much. So because of the, it's hard to write sideways, display of God's apostrophe S power. Because they saw God's power in person, they realized, wow, we need to listen to him. We need to be obedient. We need to fear him and believe him because he definitely loves us, cares for us, and is guiding us down the right path. So there's a picture of you at the bottom, or picture for you at the bottom. Um, just kind of a drawing of what the Red Sea might have looked at like when it was separated. And there's this dry path all the way through it. And then it goes back down. Now the Red Sea is still something you can go visit to today. And if you get the chance someday, I hope you do. That would be really awesome to go see a place where God's power actually took place. Um, I've never gone to go there, but I would love to one day to go see an actual place where God, a miracle, he had a miracle happen. Um, but God uses miracles in our lives every day. And he has placed you in a special spot that there's little miracles here and there that you might not realize now. Maybe you'll think about it later that it's such a blessing, for example, that we get to be home with our families right now and spend so much time with them. And he just works in our lives every day. It doesn't have to be this big, giant sea, ocean, sea, ocean, whatever, opening up. He works in our lives through anything. It could be a friend encouraging us. It could be... Um, a parent giving us a hug and telling us they love us. It could be anything. God uses so many things that are just huge blessings in our lives. So I hope you're able to get all those answers down. Let me know if you have any questions and that's it for Bible. See you later.